check it out right now i'm about to i'm about to paint my calibers right now yellow as you can see right there they're kind of like um like faded black they're kind of like grayish for how faded they are so um i'm about to paint those yellow right now and i got some stickers for it too also they're gonna be um it's gonna say brimble i'll show you guys it right now so right here is what i got this whole little setup right here is what i got i got these on amazon they're um paint for the calibers and the reason I got them on Amazon is because if you go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, they don't have these stock. You have to order them because they have red because red is the most common one. But yellow goes with my car, so I went with yellow. And hold on, let me get these real quick. And and I got the primer. I actually got the primer at O'Reilly's. And this clear coat is for the gloss, so it can gloss out more and it protects the paint. So after I after I do the paint, I'm gonna put this clear coat and it it should be sticking on more. I got the sandpaper also. I got the wrong one actually, but I got the sandpaper. I'm gonna use this to um, sand down the things first, but I'm gonna clean them first. So I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna sand it and then I'm gonna clean it again. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply the primer. And I also got this Brimble stickers right here to put on the calibers itself. I hope this is gonna help you guys out to decide if you wanna paint your calibers or not and see how difficult it is and how, or how easy it is. It depends on how you, how you see it in your perspective, but um, yeah, so let's get started. I want to get this done already. It's already getting hot outside and I kind of want to get this done already. And yeah, so I'm thinking of starting on this side first, actually, because the sun is actually hitting more on this side. Um, I'm going to let the car, actually, I'm not going to drive the car for the rest of the day because I wanted to, I wanted to sink in and all that stuff. I don't want anything bad going on back here. It looks like it's going to be kind of hard because there's going to be a lot of heat, but um, I'll knock that out. I'm gonna be using this brake cleaner. It's supposed to be heavy duty right here. So, um, yeah, we're about to spray it. I'm gonna spray it slowly. And I put this down here just so it, just in case it leaks. So it goes in there and it doesn't just leak on the ground right there. I'll make a mess right here where I park at all the time.
Meanwhile, I'm doing the paint on the calipers right now, guys. I cleaned the back of my wheels right there, of my rims, the back of my rims, because, you know, they're really, really dirty. Uh, it, it was, like, so dirty. And then right here in the front, I'm going to clean the front up. And I'm going to be using this detailer, the um, Chemical Guys detailer, to be cleaning it real nice and clean. So then when I put those, when I put the rims back on, when I put the wheels back on, um, it's going to be nice and gloss in here. You can see right there, it's really nice and clean. But um, it gets really dirty in there, and you know, once in a while, it's, it's good to just clean it up. And yeah, so right now I'm just cleaning it up right now. I'm using some Windex. I know you're not really supposed to be using that, but I'm using that real quick. Um, I just wanted to get it a little bit clean. I'm using this new sponge that I got from, um, I got this new sponge from Chemical Guys. This thing is working pretty good. I'm just like cleaning it up. Every time it gets dirty, I go over there to the sink and I, I squeeze all the dirtiness out. Right now it's dirty. It's still dirty. I have to clean it with soap. Right now I'm not really cleaning it with soap. I'm just kind of getting the dirt out of it, like squeezing it, getting the dirt water out of it just to get it all done right now. Try to knock this out right before, um, right before I put the wheel back on. So then when I take pictures and show you guys the, the end product, it looks real nice. Check it out guys, right now it's all gloss clean right here, the front and the back. So inside here, it's all gloss clean. Like if you just put your finger in it, you won't get any dirt or nothing like that. So I cleaned it real good. That little um, detailing spray really came in handy. And yeah, so I'm just waiting right now for the paint to dry for the calibers. All right guys, so check it out right now. I just finished this one right here. I put the brimble on it right now and it looks lit. It looks just delicious. Just look at the gloss out of that right there. And I'm gonna do one more clear coat right now just because I just put the brimble on. I wanna make sure it sticks on there. And yeah, so I hope this guys I hope this helped you guys out. As you can see, look at I don't have any uh, paint on the sides or anything like that. You just have to make sure that you don't get any paint on the sides or anything like that or on the rotor. Comment down below what you guys think about these new calibers that I have now. Or not calibers, but this new paint job I did on my calibers. Tell me what you guys think about it and tell me if you guys would do this to your car. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out on painting yours or whatever you wanted to do to yours. I hope it helped you out. And yeah, just make sure that when you do this, um, don't do overcoats or just make sure you, you, you get it fully dry before you do anything. You guys should be good with one kind of primer and one kind of clear coat. Um, and also, I think you guys can finish with one can of spray can uh, of spray paint because I literally didn't use the other can, as you can see right here. Um, it's pretty, as you can see right here, it's brand new. Like this, I haven't used this one at all. It's like really heavy. This one, it pretty much, I finished this one. So you need like one paint can. If you, if you don't want to be buying so much things, you, you could probably get away with one paint can and one primer can and one clear coat but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna have a new i'm gonna have another upgrade coming this week i hope you guys enjoy it it's gonna be a lit one it's gonna be just it's gonna change the whole look into my interior of my car and i hope you guys enjoy it right now i'm about to throw the rim back on i'm gonna do the clear coat real quick and then i'm gonna throw the rim back on i'm gonna show you guys the whole walk around of my car um the other side i am gonna be missing one sticker and for the video i'm just gonna have these two this just this side because i am gonna take off the other wheel but i'm not gonna show you guys all that i mean it's the same thing it's gonna just be on the other side. all right guys so check it out this is the end product right here put some armor on those wheels right there and i have them all gloss clean right now and then you can see right there i got the brimble on it and it's glossy yellow like right there it's just so glossy yellow and it just looks menacing guys like just driving around like this it looks so menacing like the brakes stand out so much like look i'm gonna back up a bunch show you how how much they stick out they stick out so much guys so if you guys are thinking of painting your brake calibers i think you guys should definitely go do that just know that if you do do it yourself you need to be patient guys you know you don't want to mess up you want your car to look good you know i mean 
it takes time patience just know that guys that it's not always gonna be so easy there might be hiccups hopefully you guys use it helpful for you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment down below what you guys think about them don't they look menacing guys i mean that's just menacing but honestly if i had a different color car like let's say white or something like that i would go with red calibers guys so if i take this cookie now one day i'll do the time slip me a zinnia once somebody i got the earth in the blunt i get the skirt when i want